Indie Mogul. This week on Indie News, Griffin drives across the country, lots of new product announcements, the Canon G4i, GoPro Wi-Fi, and Apple MacBook Pro, a super cheap DIY dolly, and my plan to run a race with a GoPro Snorri Cam. Hey Indie Mogulers, Griffin here, and I just returned home from a 38-hour drive from California to Illinois, helping my mom move. Every road trip needs a video blog set to inspiring music, so here it is. Okay, I was driving the whole time, so I couldn't shoot a lot of exciting video. I just took an iPhone photo at every stop of the rental truck. I have this truck for the day if you want to climb in and do some news. Okay, on Friday, Canon... Oh, you can't really see me right now, although you can see about 2,000 miles worth of bugs on this windshield. On Friday, Canon announced a new DSLR camera, the T4i. Compared to last year's model, the T3i, this new camera now has continuous autofocus while shooting video, double the ISO for low light sensitivity, an onboard stereo mic, and a touchscreen LCD. The T4i body only is $850 compared to $610 for the T3i. And if you plan to use continuous autofocus, Canon is also offering new quiet STM lenses to go with it. The T4i is available now for pre-order, shipping at the end of this month. Speaking of Canon, they accidentally posted a press release on Friday about a firmware upgrade coming to the 7D. It would add, among other things, manual audio level adjustment while shooting video. Even if you don't have a 7D, a lot of the equipment that we use, cameras and audio recorders, have firmware upgrades. So you should always check to make sure you're getting the most current features on your devices. I talk a lot about DSLR cameras because I shoot with one, but I was stumped last week when Mike McCormick asked me on Twitter to recommend a camcorder. So I figured I'd ask you guys, what do you think is the best camcorder on the market right now? Or at least let me know in the comments what camcorder you use. Hey. Apple today announced a new, thinner, faster MacBook Pro that includes a retina display, which means that this 15-inch laptop has 40% more resolution than my 27-inch iMac. While editing on this laptop, you can view full 1080 video and still have room for the interface. It includes HDMI and two Thunderbolt ports and starts at $2,200 shipping today. YouTube user Imagine Now Entertainment came up with a cheap, simple way to turn your tripod into a dolly. Furniture sliders. I have some here from the Move, and they're not perfect, but for around $15, it's a good trick. I used my GoPro camera during my trip for some simple shots on the road, and last week, GoPro launched a new accessory, the Wi-Fi Backpack which adds remote control and wireless streaming to the GoPro for only $100. Using the remote or a smartphone, which features live preview, you can control up to 50 different cameras, and soon live streaming to the web will be available. Speaking of the GoPro, this Sunday I'm running a race called the Warrior Dash. And I want to wear my GoPro camera to capture all the running, climbing obstacles, leaping over fire and crawling through mud. But after I saw Barbster 360's third-person DIY body rig, I knew I wanted an over-the-shoulder shot instead of a first-person helmet shot. I could create a Snorricam rig like the one Eric designed, but it needs to be small enough that I can wear it comfortably while running, and I need to be able to climb and crawl through mud without it getting in the way. Ideally, I would also be able to take it off and get some of the shots and then put it back on somehow. So I'll be working on the design this week. Let me know if you have any ideas or suggestions, and I'll feature that on next week's show. Also, I'm running this race to benefit St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, helping kids fight deadly diseases. I've donated $20 to the cause, and if I can just get a few friends to each donate even a dollar a piece, it should be easy for me to reach my $250 goal. So if you want to help, you can click right here to donate, and none of this money goes to me or Indie Mogul, just St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. 
On today's playlist, I have the test video for the furniture slider dolly, GoPro's creative new ad for the Wi-Fi backpack, Barbster 360's third person test video, and our episode on the DIY Snorri cam from a few years ago. That's it for today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. That's not an exit.